dirty, devious little tramp. Don't jump to the wrong conclusion. Nick Tilsley. It wasn't like that. Well, it's no wonder you had such a cob on when I pulled him. Listen, you don't know the facts. <laughs> I heard everything, Leanne. You are finished. Are you skiving again? Shut up. It's getting busy out there, and do not tell me to shut up. Well, tell Betty to pull her finger out. She's not even here yet. Well, she should be. Oh, I'm telling Lloyd. Well, tell him whatever you want. We're in the middle of something here, so go on, shoo. Right. Just give me a chance to explain. Please, I'm begging you. Just come back to the flat. I'll tell you everything. And... Peter? Peter? He's not here. So come on. Spill the beans. Right, first of all, don't call me a tramp or a slag or whatever it is you call me back there. Oh, why not? Because you're liable to upset me, Tracy. And I know you've been to prison, <laughs> but I swear to God, don't push me. Ooh, you're starting with a threat. Very bold. There was something going on between me and Nick, but it was a mistake and it didn't last long. No, oh, I had the same experience. And it was over before I married Peter. Well, whether it's over or not, carrying on behind my brother's back, laughing it up with your ex. Tut, 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 Leanne. I'm not proud of it. No. Oh. And how many days to the blessing? I love Peter. Next Monday, isn't it? Please, Tracy. I'm asking you as my sister-in-law. Step, sister-in-law. Please. Please don't rock the boat. And Carla had her eye on him. She had more than her eye on him. But nothing happened? No. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, Peter Barlow stays faithful. You might just read it on the front page of the Gazette. Hey, never mind with the jokes. Oh, don't you worry. He had his turn. Not with an ex, he didn't. I'm glad he resisted. Oh, it must have stung, though, eh? Knowing he turned her down for you. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I mean, I'm not a greatest fan or anything, but I have to admit, she is roasting. Thanks. Peter adores you, Leanne, for some absurd reason. And so does Simon. So do the decent thing. Oh, don't worry. I will. But a word of advice. Never cross a Barlow. What's the matter? Tracy knows about Nick. Oh. I was rowing with Carla. She heard everything, Deirdre. Oh, if we could have picked one person. She told him, yeah. Well, I can't think what would stop her. She was loving it. Hey, hang on a minute, Leanne. You're the one who's in the wrong here. Yeah, I know I am. Oh, as if this weren't bad enough with everything else. Why? What else is going on? Uh, forget it. It doesn't matter. Leanne? Peter's drinking again. Oh, oh, no! Where is he now? He's at a meeting. That's something, I suppose. I can't imagine what he'll do if he finds out. What is it you always say, Ken? Murder will out? It's Shakespeare, not me. Yeah, well, Shakespeare got it wrong. There's plenty get away with murder. Adultery's the thing. Adultery will out. everything we can. What if he's waiting for me? I think we know about it by now. Yeah, maybe she's not as gung-ho as we think she is. Listen, whatever happens, I know how hard this has been for you. Oh, the whole thing's regrettable. Yeah, it is. And I probably deserve everything I'm gonna get. Not everything. No. Good luck. You know, you should have been nice. Are you jealous? Are you all reading off a crib sheet? Oh, you had a thing going with Nick. This isn't about me. This is about Peter. You're all sticking together. You're siding with Nick Tilsley against your own son. No, we're siding with Leanne. But why? Because she's the best thing that's ever happened to him. She was cheating on him. We all make mistakes. Well, she is relatively frigid compared to you. I'll give you that. Don't you dare. But we're not comparing her with your low standards. Look, think about Simon. Think about everything that's happened to Simon. Leanne is a wonderful mother to that boy. What a dig. That wasn't what he meant. Wasn't it? Well, she's certainly the golden girl. You've made that pretty clear. Don't be ridiculous, Tracy. A kindred spirit? We agonised. That's why you've closed ranks, isn't it? 
Not because of Leanne or Simon, but because you've been there, both of you. You don't want to look like hypocrites. Remind me, Tracy, who's Amy's father? Wasn't he married at the time? Yeah, all right, Ken. Yeah, well, she should think before she speaks. He was married to Karen, but he was estranged. Who would benefit if we told Peter? Well, don't you feel sorry for him? Half the street knows his wife's been putting it about and he's been walking around none the wiser. And all the better for it. He has to be told. No, he doesn't. He does, ma'am. Peter has to be told. Told what? Will you please, please stop phoning me? As soon as he knows, we'll know. Maybe it's for the best. No, it isn't. Whatever happens, Leanne. I'm learning the hard way again, aren't I? Why break that bit of a lifetime? Well, maybe I'm finally growing up. Well, you never know. There's a chance you'll keep a mouth shut. Yeah, and it's always tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. She's not going to keep her mouth shut forever, is she? The game's up, Nick. We ran out of luck. I'll be here for you. And what happened to Italy? Uh, still there, as far as I know. <laughs> You must all think I'm soft in the head, nothing. Look at you all. The faces on you when I walk through that door. Come on. What is it? What has Peter got to know? All right. I'll tell you. Tracy. No, no, let us speak. Come on. What's the big secret? I might have to work on Valentine's Day. I might have to miss the blessing. And that's it, is it? That's what you were rowing about? They were furious with me. Lloyd's been doing the rota. I mean, there is a chance I will make the blessing, but I might have to work in the evening. At the Rovers? Yeah. Where we're having the reception? Yeah. I mean, if we think it's disgraceful, you know, it's your blessing, and they won't even give her the night off. We should be having words with Steve about it, make no mistake. So, what was it you put round for? Just this one. Hey, love. Everything all right? Yeah. What were, you, uh, what were you standing near the window for? Oh, just wondering where you are. It's late. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're asking, no, I haven't touched a drop. No, no, I wasn't suggesting you had. No, I went to, I went to the physio, then the meeting went on and on. A uh, new lad turned up, only a young kid in a right state, so I had a word with him after, you know, tried to chivvy him along a bit. Oh, good for you. Yeah, when I've been there long enough, I think I'd like to sponsor him. Oh. You know, I always think they're going to do a fun run when you say that, or 50 lengths at Weathy Baths. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if only. So is everything else all right? Yeah, it is, but, well, I called in on the madhouse on my way back, you know, and I walked in in the middle of a row with me dad and Deirdre, with Tracy. Oh, what were they rowing about? Well, this is the thing. Apparently, Tracy can't make the 14th. Only for the evening, and Deirdre thinks she shouldn't. And that's why they were rowing? Yeah. Oh. What do you make of that? <laughs> well, she'll still be there, won't she? I mean, if, if she's serving. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. <sighs> I thought you were going to say something really awful. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> Come here. How was your night? Oh, you know, nothing special, just the usual. I'm so lucky to come home to you. Some of them poor beggars there tonight living on their own. Broken marriages, broken homes. I'm just so lucky. Come here. The Coronation Street tram crash is coming very soon and it's available to pre-order right now. Next, and just with two more weeks until the final, the biggest loser ups the ante, 557 feet. You have to climb 570 stairs in total. 